Thank you, Karibu sana. So I wanted to say workshops, these are moments that a lot of young people don't have an opportunity. People have opportunities for sermons. People have opportunities of um, you know, reading books. But people miss opportunities like this when we can share experiences. And so, um, and I believe that that which we are sharing here will be able to uplift us to, to another level. And so take this very seriously. It's not a waiting bay. As, as the timber comes to the workshop and we have a finished product that we can admire, it's also my prayer that have, even after this workshop that we'll begin to change on even how we view life and some of the things that we go through as young people. I'm so happy for you. And first, thank you for accepting Christ as your personal savior. That is a big plus. It has its own advantages when you get so serious with your Christianity. That is the basic. You will not be able to understand what that means until you meet another young person of your age who has the same um, opportunities like you, but they have not really accepted Christ as their personal savior. So sometimes when you remember you are a Christian, just tap your chest and say, God, thank you. As much as yes, I'm struggling with the basics in Christianity as a young person, but at least I know you and I know that you love me despite my flaws. That gives a lot of hope. Amen. Amen. Good. And so we will go to, um, th there was someone who was supposed to speak and I told her I would start with that today. That was Riziki, right? Yeah, the lady who doesn't have, um, the one who has the energy and she would want to share with us. And, and I think I'm meeting her for the second time if I haven't forgotten. One of the things I love about that girl, she speaks about her mind. She will tell you I have a child. She will tell you this man came to my life and, and you know when he discovered I have a girl, and he disappeared. We talk a lot. She's very open. And, and that has made me to, to even when I pray, I, it's easy to remember and even mention her name in prayer. Um, but again, we also give a caution. You should also know what to say, when to say it, and who to tell. You don't go telling people things, hey, you know I'm saved, I've aborted twice. That is, that is being stupid. Some of the things are between you and God. Is that okay? Yeah, because one of the things we're going to cover in our discussion is, Pastor, what do I say? If I'm in a relationship, for instance, what do I say when, how? You don't meet someone for the first day and say, look here, I once got married and I walked out. When do I, when, okay, when do you say that? Do you keep it? Matthew, when do you tell someone you have a child? Well, it's an example, he does it have. <laughs> when, when do you reveal this? It's, it's important because sometimes when you don't know what to say and when to say, the timing is very important. Sawa, sawa, good. It was just uh, about to get us on board. I'll ask our secretary to take us through the, the numbers. You had something to say? The question, what was the question? Yes, I remember. Uh, concerning church, uh, wedding, and society, I was asking that, uh, which, which one is that is, is, is acceptable? Case, uh, doing a marriage meet at the church, mm. or at the gym, or at the court. Okay, you understand what he's talking about. We have a lot of people who decide they're not going, they're not going to have the church the church wedding, now on a scale of Amanda at the Alton General's office, and then they have had it. And so it's wondering, um, not really which is the best, but which is the, which one should the children of God be involved in? Church, it is as, as, as brief as that. As much as the certificate looks the same, as much as the certificate is the same, but trust me, there's this blessing you get when you marry in the presence of God, and in the presence of God's people, and that is, of course, the church. It means a lot when the pronouncement is done. But again, we know the reason as to why people run to such places. It's because when you are not so sure how you are dark, my shine. Because you see, if, if the church wedding, if it's announced from church, uh, chances are someone might have a question. But the other side, the other guy says, I got to go notes board. Who goes reading those notes boards? No one. And so I pray strongly that if you are thinking of even having a church wedding and you have had a past with someone, all right, speak it in time. The time you begin, 
the process of courtship. And you have identified this elder, this pastor, this strong church member who is taking through the course of, of courtship, the topics that you have chosen, for instance. Tell them that this is my past. I had this girl, I had this man in my life, and we went this far, and he has evidence of relationship. Then even before you register your wedding, some of these things are able to be tackled. Because there are people, because of jealousy, they will come with evidence of a relationship and they say, look here, you have been dating me, where are you leaving me? What will you do? And it's the first reading. You can be so sure there will be no second reading. Okay? So tackle these things. Because sometimes we have evidence of relationship that we have walked past, but we don't know the impact of such evidences, how much it can affect even when we say we have moved on. Upon this hour. But we have agreed the church wedding matters a lot. It has its own blessings, and we encourage all of us to take uh, that direction. And that is why even those who have been married through the Attorney General's office, I've also seen those who could want now again to come and recommit and get the blessings of the church. It means, and I'm telling you, even in your mind, when you have it at church, it looks holy. Like in the Attorney General in Akani office. Because the Pale Mbele, you know, uh, how many of you have witnessed Ile Attorney General? How long does it even take? Very few minutes. Yani vile aliruza swali, kama aruse tatu zikuwa zimeishi. Because you even signed the certificate in advance. You only come and pose with a pen for a picture. And then you call that holy matrimony? No. So we encourage all of us to get to the church wedding. Let's go to the next. Yes, my dear. I, I think before we go, whether it's biblical, the best and the right question would be, what is the purpose? Because now the purpose will either lead you to the Bible to understand it, or then you realize you're out. What is the purpose of a bridal shower? What is the purpose of a baby shower? What is it? Huh? Apart from taking pictures, what is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? So, Sorry, because the last time I checked, yeah? it's like a party. So what is the purpose? Enjoying themselves. Yes. I don't know, Matthew, why, when you're explaining, those who attend, there's a group you have not said. <laughs> People who are failed in their marriage, they're the ones attending, attending the pride of parties. People who have been in marriage, it has not worked for them. Do you even realize that people who are in marriage, they are being advised by those that marriages have failed? The other day, I was talking to some gentleman. I did know him very well. But during our discussion, I discovered he's discouraged, he's talking so bad about marriage. Because he tried and it has failed. Take the pictures that you see around and you'll be so surprised. So what kind of advice can you get from someone who has failed in, in matatu business and you want to buy one? He'll tell you how drivers are going to steal from you. You know? So be very careful about that. The baby showers, you do taacha. You can see the shida kubwa. Ata kuliko what you can even imagine of. All right? And so um, I'm glad that what we are saying, these things are not biblical, they're not Christian. We can't stop you from doing that. If you want to do it, you can. But trust me, if your conscience is very clean, some of the things you'll know that this is not the right thing for me to do as, as a child of God. Okay? Those of you who will were in the program we had in the morning for Bible study, we realized that there's a way we are trying to modernize things that should remain primitive. And it's a very serious problem. 
There are things that the Bible, this Bible, it is not modern. It is what? It's very primitive. Some things must remain like so. You know, like someone was talking about the Sabbath. I'm sorry to take you there. The Sabbath is not about 24 hours. No, because if it is about 24 hours, then I have the prerogative of deciding how to spread the 24 hours. So I can I have Monday, four hours of the Sabbath. Then I say I have 20 remaining. So it's not about hours. It is this particular day. Primitive. Can you decide that the Sabbath is, to me, is Wednesday? Why? There are things that are, that are beyond you, and they have to remain the way they are. Melona Vizuri. Yeah, and, and that is great. And I think one of the things, again, you need to add for us, as we, I think we have time to talk about, is the question of LGTBI what? Q. What is that? C O A B C D. What is that? So, Meleon in New Yeah, a big problem, a big challenge. And some of us, we are fighting with that. You don't know that you are into that. Then we begin to ask ourselves this question very open question. Is it an orientation? Oh, it is something else. Because it's happening. In Adventism, we have lesbians. Unapenda msichana fulani akipita unashindwa kupumua. Then you don't know what is that? Is it natural? Is it something that that is overtaking you and you can walk around? I think it's something that we need to talk about as we begin to finish our discussions. Is it of importance? It can help you as a person. It, you can have information on what you can be able to share with the friends when you are meeting them. Sawa, sawa. Very good. Let's go to the next point for the interest of time. Yes, sir. Can I say first, those who are attending for the first time today, those if you are attending for the first time today, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here. And please speak from where. Oh, that is great. That's, that welcome means a lot. Thank you. What? Faith. Now, faith and some of the factors to consider when you're getting into, into marriage. Remember, this is not my making. These are the things that came from the floor. And I believe I'm addressing issues that are of importance because this is what you said. Amen? Now, one of the things we talked about was faith. And, and the disclaimer was, faith goes beyond coming to church on Sabbath. All right? It does not mean that if he or she comes to church on Sabbath, it's of your faith. Faith does not stop on the day of worship. It goes beyond. And so I know people who come to church and they're worshiping together at the same church. They even, you know, um, they, they participate in the same Holy Communion, but they are of interfaith. <laughs> and so faith goes beyond. It goes beyond that. What are some of the aspects do you think that are within faith that you need to agree and say you are of my faith? Let me hear from the floor. Uh huh. Matters of faith that goes beyond church. Yes. Okay. When you talk about faith, what is the composition of faith? Faith is is, is one word which has a collection of many activities, right? So, so yes. Yeah, so what is that? I hope I'm forgiven. Thank you. There's some of these things I can be asking not to come back tomorrow. Nigitaki <laughs> Vizuri, I don't know why. Okay, so what are the components of, of faith? Thank you. The components of faith that we. What is the composition of faith? Because don't also tell me that faith is coming to church on Sabbath. That if you come to church on Sabbath with me, we are of the same faith. It's, it's, it's not a fact. What is the opposite of, of a fact? It's a fallacy, right? Yeah, it is not. So what are these things? Come on. Yes. Uh, 
That, that, that is okay. And one of the things I'm, I'm picking from him is faith is a belief. And it's trying to simplify faith. Okay? We have the same faith. So what is this in bracket? What is this do you believe? Do you realize when people get married, they discover even in matters of faith, in matters of belief, they are not on the same page? Yes. Let me hear an example. Mm -hmm. That is it. Nasiati, kukunya pembe waka kulewa. One believes you can take a little. Nanu mix na soda. Na yosio pombe. It's a belief. So, talk about foods. What do you believe about the food? Because these are some of the things you will assume now. When you get into marriage, then you have trouble. You are marrying a girl who believes if I take meat, I will not go to heaven. And so, and you love meat. She's not going to prepare it. Uh huh. There's this girl. Yeah, me ambiwa. Ukienda salon, blood dry guze nywele hivi. Jina yake metolewa binguni. But you believe nywele ambao ni soft. Are, are you getting me? Yes. Your belief is that you have to put on a gene as a man. This girl believes if you put on a gene, you have a problem. Do you know that people believe like if you put on a gene, you're not a Christian? Gene ya wakora. Talk about these issues. But that is no outward. But the inward of this could be more than that. Matters of faith. This is important. Do you believe, both of you, in tithing and offering? Is this something that is of importance in matters of faith? Yes, one believes it's not necessary. Another one who feels is a pana because as I'm speaking right now, I know of a medical doctor. He is separating from his wife because the wife doesn't believe in tithing. So what is your belief in tithing? Now, now, are honest. Are you getting me? Do you, do you believe in hell? Huh? No, I'm not asking you. Ask him. Ask her. Even your faith. Do you believe in the second coming of Christ? Do you believe in repentance? Do you believe in prayer? And if you do, what kind of prayer? You will marry someone who believes they have to pray at 3 a.m. Are you listening to me, children of God? Do you believe in fasting and praying? So that you don't wake up, wake up one morning, you go to church, you go to church, and 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 you go to Yes. So talk about this thing. So belief goes beyond coming to church, to church the same day. And this thing, they might look so small now. Because when you are dating someone, you don't use your head. You only use the butterflies in the stomach. Una mwona unashido kufikiria. And you think that is the thing that will be there in marriage. Ukifika huku, you don't feel anything. They touch you. They can even kiss you. You can't remember when you were kissed last. And it happened just five minutes ago. And so children of God, this is a very important matter. What, like, like you know, for instance, about dressing. As a man, do you believe your wife can put on a trouser? Do you believe? Some, some it's Okay. I have my sister, that is okay when I use that example. Thank you. But there are men, there are men who are like, okay, where verse are you? Ngote kwanza ni muoe afike kwa nyumba. Hizo long in tachoma. Si hivyo ndo tunajichocha? Eh, kwa sasa sababu ni mempenda, staki ni mkasirishe. Ngote afike wapi? Hizo short skirt zote. Ndafanya nini? Unafika, then you realize that she's not your sister. You don't talk the way you want. <laughs> Do you know you can quote someone? Nana ongea soprano, ukimuwa hivi. Anaza kuongea bass, kama wewe. 
Uza wewe unasema nini? <laughs> so talk about these things, all right? Talk about them. I know of a couple. Most recently I was in a camp meeting and I was talking to the young couples and the lady was not so happy about it. She told me, I'm not happy the way my husband dresses to church. How can he come to church and put him on a jacket? And he has bought a lot of jackets and he has suits, he can't put them on. We've talked about it, he doesn't want to change. I feel embarrassed. He's affecting my worship. And they wedded. Did he talk about it when you were courting? No, we never realized it was a big thing. It is. Handle these things in advance. Do you believe that your wife can dress on when we mshika kuja church? Do you believe in that? Like you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Lakini siku utamuoa, nasema mimi. Hmm? Body yangu uweze kuonyesha kwa watu. What is your belief? These are the things you talk about. Hivi, namwambia mimi, let me be honest with you. Mimi sikati kipita magoti kuja chini, kuna vileta na scares. I don't feel I'm okay. So you agree nina kuoa na sikiliza. Hawavai short skirts because hawajaolewa. Hata kuna nyama ameolewa na they are still putting on short skirts and it is disturbing their husbands, and some husbands are very comfortable if they are greed, and that is what they believe in, both of them. Tumelewana baka hapo? Can I go to something else? Yes, thank you. Now, what are some of the things that we need to look at? Let me hear this from you. What do you check on before you, 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 you say this is the pattern I want? So matters of faith, religion, that is covered. And if you realize, I, I, I want to believe, no one is going to ask me here, Pastor, what if Chaluangu ni mukatho? Do we talk about it? No. Because I'll tell you for sure. And, and I told you that you have empirical evidence. There are families you have seen. Maybe your sister is married to another. And they look so happy. They even talk about how they are enjoying. You see them holding hands, the pictures they post. Here is part A of the story. Kuna part B that has never been posted. And usually that is shared with very confidential people. And the privileges, like pastors, we hear about that. I'll tell you, it's a crazy thing. Very crazy. Very crazy. And the Bible is very clear. It says, do not be yoked with none. None believers, does not mean they don't believe in God. None believers, those who doesn't believe like you. Okay. Tumelewana vizuri? Yes. And when we say these things, and I'm saying before the camera, you can go ahead and, and get married. But I'll warn you in advance. As you get to that relationship, begin looking kwa chama, ya wala mama wanarianga usiku, uingio kwa mapema. Because you'll be crying every night. Na angoja mtota patikane, muanza kupigania mtota ananda kanisa gani. Then you realize the family, they're having a party on Sabbath. Your mother-in-law is coming to visit the child on Sabbath. That's when you realize, Bashiri ya kumi ya mungi na kuanga isu kwa chapter 20. Unaisoma asubuhi, uki wangoja. And we were asking this question last evening. Do you wait until you cry then? Or you cry now? Tulisema nini? Lia sasa, adjust as you move on. Bwana sifiwe. After all, what do you go picking? Someone from another religion. Na kuna mademu kanisa yao. Mwachie. Mwachie. Are you getting me? All right. Sorry, what did you say? Let's hear. What, what else are you supposed to look on? Yes? Uh, my brother. That, that's important. Uh, I think some people have, have done studies. Now, one of the things we appreciate as Christians and, and the modern era that we are living in, we cannot run away even from some of the researches that have been done. We have some professions that cannot be able to fit with other professions. That if both of you are in, in those kind of professions, chances are you may not, be, may not be able to even have time for each other. For instance, which one and which one? Kwa kufikiria, tunasama hii, na hii ni kama zida indanisha. Yes? Nursing and? And military. Yeah, those two. Even Ghani? The ship, the captain. 
captain yes yeah wewe ni nurse and your husband ni captain hapa tumeenda mbali tukuje hizo hapa karibu kwani tunaenda captain na captain na kuanga Mombasa tuambie za hapa za hapa mwalimu mwalimu na daktari mwalimu listen to this we are not saying that they cannot work 100% but even when you get into it just know what is waiting for you mwalimu anafundisha usiku ama mchana what are the chances kwamba daktari atakuwa night shift ziko yes the problem is that atakuwa day shift na ni mama akiwa on her atakuwa day shift wakati ambapo uko atakuwa day shift na atakuwa available night for you na akaona periods Pido dizikisha hivi ukimtaka anaenda night shift. <laughs> What do you do? I, I'm sorry, am I too honest? <laughs> ah, what do you do? Bonarelli. Is it possible? Do, do, do you tell your body now don't function I'm now night. Can you do that? Now, are you realizing how people are looking at it? Are you looking at it that way? Ama maybe you marry you are a soldier and your wife ni air hostess. Ile siku uko leave ndege imeenda Malaysia. What do you do? Huh? What do you do? Mungu tu. Sasa badala ya kwanza kusema Mungu tu huko mbele, anza na Mungu tu sasa. Sawa sawa. Face these realities and we are saying we are not asking you to stop, okay? But as you get into it, all right? Just know what you are going to experience in the days to come. Amen. Amen. Pastor Karibu sana. It's a blessing to have you here. You have a wonderful team of young men and women. That is important. So as 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 Richard has mentioned, not Richard, as Matthew has as mentioned, it's important to consider the profession because some professions truly they will have issues in the days to come okay allow me to mention also very quickly on that point the level of education also matters a lot level of what msiachane sana mkiachana sana it's going to be a pro even the way you look at life is different you have masters na alifanya tu form 4 either way naweza kuwa ni mama ama ni msichana to be a problem because even other mkiwa kwa nyumba which program do you watch on tv huyu anataka vitimbi and you also want something else ah anataka afro cinema huyu anataka documentary so at the end of it all mtadua tv ngapi hiyo marriage iko hai ama mtashare screen a half ndio kuna this is smart tv you can share screen naikata katikati na remote namwambia vitimbi yako hapa mimi yangu hapa some of these things they matter a lot okay but trust me they are not the basics but as you get into it just ask yourself if i'm get married by a man ambaye ako that level of education na mimi niko hapa what am i going to have what will be my experience for instance in that marriage and that's when you hear you get even ashamed of going with your wife to some meetings because she can't measure to the level of where you are but what some men do wakati wakati amechukua mwanamke kama huyo anamrudisha wapi shule anaanza kumsomesha pia aweze kupanda kwa kiwango chake all right something else from you the age bracket talk about age is very important does it matter now kwa nini kwa nini adamu anaumbwa kwanza hawa anakuja baadaye inamaanisha nini nani akae mdogo kuliko mwingine and as i told some of these facts they are very scientific i read an article and i believe in that that if you are courting or dating if you get married with a man who is two years older than you you are age mates but the chances are ukipata mtoto wa kwanza utampita because as women begin to give birth the level of their thinking becomes fast and i say this because i have one in the house nimeshinda my wife about 5 years yeah 5 years 
But trust me, there are things right now I can't compete with her in the house. Kuna vitu akotu shapo ni mi. Mira ni sasinga na ndani nanga uruma. So ataki kuongea. And there's nothing like when a man gets intimidation in his own marriage. That is the worst, because it kills your ego. And once your ego is gone, you are nowhere. So age matters a lot. And, and of course, now the question we're asking ourselves is this. What should be the age difference? And I think that question now, what is the best age for a man and for a woman to get married? All right? Like the minimum. OK? At 20 maximum, minimum. And what should be the age difference? OK? Because it should be there. And I'm going to read for you something here that is going to um, really shock you. Can I go straight to these points? Good. Now, it's not a sin to marry an older woman. See, Dambi, how to cause a good bingoni because you married a woman who is 10 years older than you? In fact, the mutafika bingoni nyote. Lakini, utafika bingoni natokuwa mekosa vitu vingi duniani. Mana kuna vitu ziko hapa zita kuwa uko. Kutakuwa nandoa bingoni. Pastor, kuna marriage bingoni? Inakuanga hapi? So enjoy maximum here. It's not sin, but certainly not God's ideal. God expects men to be the spiritual leaders of a home, Ephesians 5.25, and it is certainly requires an extra measure of grace to lead a woman who is older than you. Yes, you can lead them, but what do you require? Extra grace. So among the things to ask God for, apart from peace, which might disappear in marriage, you need to ask for grace to take care of an older woman if you marry her. Again, if you are a man and you are already in such a marriage, the honor is be in it until you die. I will talk because I am going to die. I am going to So we can talk. However, if you are not yet married but thinking about an older woman, uh, this research says, I want to remind you that God intentionally, with good reason, created Adam before Eve in the first, um, in the first marriage. Scripture informs us that God created man first, chronologically, for the sake of authority. Listen, I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise the authority of a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet, for Adam was formed first, then who? Eve. That's the book of 1 uh, Timothy, uh, chapter number 2, verse number 12 to verse number 13. That sometimes when you, as a man, you need to exercise what? Authority. And it's easy to exercise authority on someone who is slightly younger than you. And by the way, Pastor, this is shocking, that when you listen to the young couples, you, you realize that when men are not having an opportunity to exercise authority, and because naturally they have the authority, they will find somewhere else to exercise it. In bracket, mpango, wakando. That's a different story. All right? You good? All right. Now, let me take you to these statistics. Um, if you are a woman two or more years older than your husband, your marriage is 53% most likely to end in divorce. It's not 100%, but you have half chances that you might not survive in that marriage. You can do your own statistics. People who have left each other, even right in church. Sometimes you don't know that this is an underlying factor. Awana abari, unasikia kwa mba hatuelewani, he treats me like a child, he doesn't see like I'm a wife, ni mtu numezaria, sasa ukiongea uvu, na uju mbaba nafikiria, sasa kakatoto kana sema nini? Akuiti katoto, lakini, unaongea utoto. So I'm sema, what are the chances? 53% more likely, more likely to end in divorce than if he was one year or two, three years older. Uh, there's that. Marriage generally improves life expectancy. Simu amen? Amen. Marriage generally improves life expectancy. It means as vile mugosingo, kukufa kwenu ni paraka sana. Yes, it has been researched that people who are married, their life expectancy is what? Longer than those who are what? Atta musibu jibu. Hii ni research ibefanyika. Why? 
There are factors. Now listen this to this. Uh, but the age gap between a couple affects the life expectancy of men and the women very differently. Marrying an older man shortens a woman's lifespan. But having a young husband reduces it even more. Hii ni kizungu nimesoma. It's simple English. Hapa kuna statistics. Nimewachanganya na these things are very direct. Can I repeat again? Marrying an older man shortens a woman's lifespan. If you marry a man who is 15 years older than you, utakufa haraka. But having a young husband, it is even more serious. So if you are dating a man who is older than you, it's going to even affect your health. But if you have a younger one, it's even worse. Why? Because in that marriage you will stray. Utakuwa na watoto na utakuwa na mtoto mwingine mkubwa kwa nyumba. Afadhali wana na stress ya mtoto umezaa. Stress mbaya ni kuwa na stress ya mtoto mwenye hujazaa anaitwa bwanako. Have you got that point? Mmepata vizuri. All right. The findings from the medical records of 2 million, this was done in, with the Danish couples, suggest that the best a woman can do is marry a man of about the same age. That was in, in Danish. Health records have also shown previously that men live longer if they have a younger wife. Amen. Like you don't say my younger. I was saying too young. Okay? Young. And an effect researchers expected to see the mirrored in women who married younger men. However, listen to this, a woman who is between seven and nine years older than her husband has 20% greater mortality rate than if she were with a man of the same age. Ukisikia 20%, siyo 20 shillings, that's a very high rate. That the chances are this is going to kill you. You may not be able to realize that age is a playing factor of the things you'll be experiencing in marriage. That is why when people go for marriage counseling and they have issues, you'll hear the marriage counselor. Anajua kuamba hapa, shida kubwa ni age. Na kuambi direct. Sasa nanza kukufundisha vile utajaribu kurigain kwa ile mchachi utakuwa kwa hiyo maisha. Because after all, it's going to kill you anyway. So these are very serious matters. Uh, yes. A new study shows that women who marry men seven to nine years younger than they are, they increase their mortality risk to, of, to 20%. Okay. All right. But if, as I usually say, if you want this, you can always have it. So to um, So what is the age bracket? To mesema, get someone who is, if you are a man, pata mchana mbaye ume mshinda at least miaka mitatu, at least three years. Ili when you are 15 years in marriage, trust me, atakuwa mikupita. The day that you have a child, trust me, she will be sharper than you. Regardless whether you have a PhD and she is a class 8 dropout. There are things she will see and you will never see. Women mature faster. Do you realize, let me use my, my sister, you have a child, you mentioned that yesterday. Do you realize that they are so composed, they are, there is a way they look at life. Kwele masi kwele. Of course you water, but a greater percentage. They are so composed. So composed. Why? Siyati ni mtota me musumbua. Ameona vitu. There are things they have seen now. Vingine, zingine zijandiko kwa kitabu. Lakini hameziona. Ata kuangalia hivi, na atajua woke nila hivi. In two months, you will be pregnant. Muulize. Ata kuambia. She knows. Ata kaa hivi. Ata bila kujua zema. Leo Matthew, hamependa ule. Na hameka hapa. Sharp, sharp. There, there, there are things in, in the woman's mind that unlock as they advance in age. So that's that is of importance. So we are saying marry someone who is younger than you. At least by how many years? Three years. And if you are getting a man to marry you, okay? Five years, six years, that is okay. Because you also want a marriage where 
you will not fear someone where you can be very free with someone. You can play with someone. Now, for instance, if you are here and you are 25, and you are dating someone who is 40, which game can you play together? Hide and seek. Utaenda kujificha, asa u kuta kukutafuta, anda kulala. Umejificha, ulale. Haki ya kuta kukutafuta. Places of interest change with age. Sinikweli. They change. Even when you are walking, an evening walk, there are things you see, munaona and you admire together when you are almost of the same age. Like in age bracket, ikiwa kubwa sana, inakuwa ni bushens. If you are here and you are dating a very old lady, unampeleka auto ni mbukukura na kuhulisa, yani, tumekura 2000. Do you, do you know yini budget ya wiki mzima kwa nyumba? Because yeye, anafikiria kama mama. Si vibaya kufikiria hivyo. Si vibaya kumpeleka inje. But that's how they look at things. Lakini kama ni mtu ambaye, muko almost the same age, there are things you can do. Na ni sawa. Mabia chate menunua how much? Imagine I got this shoe ni mtumba, and I bought it 6K. Eh, nasema this is sweet. But if you marry a woman older than you, wasema ni 6K. Na kumbia, do you know you ni school fees ya mtoto ya two times? Yani everything, anana school fees, anything, anana hivi. Na siyo vibaya. Na uwezi mureduce. Hapo ndi hamefikia, hao ni viyatu, amenda maisha ya school fees, you go. And you begin to strain yourself for no reason. So age matters a lot. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Don't ask me. Now what if I am dating one who is 10 years? Iyo pia tunaongia, siyata wasa suwa hapa sa unanza kujipanga. Unasema, mimi nitaingia tu, lakini nimeamua, ile tadipata nipate, waja niendelea. That is okay. And the bad thing is, once you hear this kind of information, when things happen, they will copy. Utakuwa, unakumbuka. Haki na hile kamu vya 2021. Si pastor alisemanga hii kitu. And that will be more hurting. It's even better when you experience things and you know you never had information about it. Tumelewana vizuri. What was the other thing we spoke about? Yes, my dear. You have something to comment, I know. Yes, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that is okay. What, what, what the sister is saying is very true. There are things that might not be able to change. Of course, we're going to talk about the physical appearance. Is, is it important? Is it important? Yes, it does. How tall was Adam? 18 feet. That's what the spirit of prophecy says, that Adam was 18 feet. And how tall was Eve? 12 feet. So who was taller than the other? Let me tell you something. I know that even if you want to be happy, there's no one I'm spoiling here because you're already spoiled. Mungu sasa ndia nawarudisha, sindio? God is bringing you back. As my sister said, as a, as a man, hata uki imagine, hata kuwa movie, do you think you can even enjoy kissing a shorter husband? It is even more romantic when you, you hug a slightly taller husband. You know, it, it makes, there is something that happens. But listen to me, it is not the basic. Don't drop someone because of that. But it's one of the things you need to consider. If you already need Ask God kwa macho yako. Amfanya mrefu kidogo. Amen. Is there something else? Yes. Very quickly. Yes. Yes. Pull it down. I just want to get your words clear. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Ache. Uh huh. Yeah. Th that process, yes. Did, is it written somewhere of the things? Yes. Aiko? No. Oh. We're supposed to summarize. Thank you. Yeah. Is it among the things we're supposed to cover? Yes. 
how do I walk out of a marriage as a Christian? Uh, sorry, out of a relationship as a Christian without offending someone, without hurting someone? I think that is a very important. It's a, it's a process. It's not a one thing, be, thing. It's not a text message. Because honestly, if someone dated you, you've been for six months, you've shared you know, things together, I love to give a message. Kwamba you to me. Listen to me. I want to hear a message. Imagine you are very lucky. Because then you know you are, you are having a relationship with a, a very mature person. Mature people, they will sit you down. Immature people send messages. If you want to know that you are dating an immature person, wakato meachana, and a change in status, then you know you are dealing with a child. Mature people keep relationships out of social what? Media. Sasa wewe umeachua. Hmm? Na una post. Na mwingine ameachua na mekata mukono. Sasa, who is supposed to post? And then when you post, you are actually telling us you are careless. Sometimes we, post, we don't know ilikuwa ni makosa ya nani. So you give us room to begin thinking you don't have the capacity to hold a man in a relationship. So what men do, we tunako short list, but kwa kitabu ingine. So keep off. So we'll go through that process. It is there. It is standard. Some people who have gone through this, it has worked out for them. And, and this is not going to work for the older people. We've also said that if you're in a relationship and you have, your relationship has gone sexual, what did we say yesterday? You kneel down, repent, and continue. So the Bible says and as we say two things you lose in, in, in a marriage, if you had sex before is what? You lose what? Respect and what? Huh? And trust. Trust. I am, they will never trust you. Never trust you. You will never trust them. In their mind, they know you are cheap. Like in a water to me, you are But they will treat you cheaply. Because that is who you are. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you have been for five years or for the sixth year. Whether you the first day, you are all the same. It's a sex outside marriage. Because I know my girls here, when someone has been for six months, I always get a kiss. When you, in fact, if you have a mind, I could kiss at the seventh month, I kiss you. Tell us to close our eyes. Go, because it's the same thing. It's not about how long you waited if it doesn't happen within the marriage context, you are still the same person. Because the truth is, and that is how our mind works, you are having sex with her, and you know she's not your wife. He's not your husband, right? Now, even when you give sex as a lady to this man, tell me, what is it meaning for you to offer for marriage? Huh? Nini me tell me nini mebaki okay umepeana sex nini mebaki utaenda unaweza nimekupea hii wacha nifiche hii ngine niko nini go is there something else and that is why if you have slept with a man akikuacha you get more hurt than men why because they have taken the best from you una vile mnaniangalia sasa yeah and that is why when men have had sex with you Naturally, they have no interest. Can I say something here? I can't even stop here. Do you realize the first time you had sex with your boyfriend? Why? What does that one even tell you? It's gone. The whole thing is finished. <laughs> huh? And then you realize immediately after the first sex, even that closeness in a funny Yeah, it's because they have got the highest. Even in their mind, they know there is no anything more you can offer. So it's easy for them to move on.
my daughters, we have never received the news that someone has died for not having sex. Any statistic? Kuna BBC metangaza kwamba kuna wasichana watano wa Kenya walikufa. Have you heard that? No. No. Yeah. God bless us. I know we are supposed to finish. The bell has rung. We are told to do a summary. Uh, Richard, you say that. Let's, let's check on these things. Tutandika chini. Kesho, tukikuja, I want to hear what you're going to comment on this. As we get married, check on the family background. Check on what? Family, family background. Consider the culture. Consider the tribe you're marrying from. We are not saying you should not marry from a particular tribe, but consider that tribe. Okay? Consider also the health background. Okay? That's important. And I'm talking about health background. Don't even think about HIV and AIDS. There are more serious problems that you need to understand. Tumelawana vizuri. Very serious ones. That even when you get into it, you know what is awaiting you. Tumelawana vizuri. Tumesukumzia health background. Tumesukumzia education. Okay. Occupation and profession. Talk about the physical appearance. That is very important. Waja kujichocha, oh, sura ya, sura ya, sura ya mtu ni, ni ro. Waja kujifanya, hakuna kitu kama ro. Penda mtu sura ya uso. Mpende vila naonekana. Hauta tembea na ro kwa barabara. Tumelawana. Penda vila mtu nafanya nini? Anaonekana. I think that's what I could just, okay. Um, okay. Um, and then we're also talking about the past experience of the person that you want to have on board. Past what? The past experience. I want to stop at that point. And uh, your hand was up as we go for the evening sermon. I, I don't know. I'm just looking forward that we can be able to have more time tomorrow. We are losing time during the day. And, and I hope that we can be able to look forward for such moments. Then we keep time as we're moving forward. Sawa, sawa. Uh, Matthew, your hand was up. Okay, so I've just mentioned quite a number of them. Some of course will be coming on the things that we need to consider. Um, so as we are coming tomorrow, we shall now go to the specifics. Now, even what we have written down, without even discussing, even if we missed, it should begin now to trouble you. By the way, have I checked the health background of my, of my fiancé? Do I know that their family, they have this kind of a challenge? All right? Yes. Something like that. Any question for me before we come to the conclusion? I thought you were going to ask. And then number two? Yes, number two, that's my sister from there. Number three? Is what? A, kind of a, request. a request, please go ahead. Yeah, so, to Pull down. <clears throat> yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Skiza, I, I think that is very important. That is important. I, I'll be, I'll be speaking. Mutanikumbusha tomorrow as we tackle this. I'll be talking. I'll be giving you five reasons why Adventist girls remain single longer than in another, in another religion. A study that, that has been uh, has been. Um, it's not a clear study, but a survey. Why, do you, why is it easy to find the was China? They want to come down. Later they get married, but how come they take long to do what? That's what, that is what actually is asking. Because it's not even their making. They are not even aware that Wameka are gum. They are not even aware about it. But then they will know on what to do. Because I also tell my girls, don't be too cheap. Every man enjoys a chase. Hakuna manuma mbada penda meukatia siku ya kwanza no mengia box. But how do you technically refuse? How do you technically avoid? Lakini umpatia moyo. Sia tunapotia mpaka na uwanekani. You know unampatia number, lakini unamisi one digit. Anapike naenda kuingine. You have something to talk about. 
Mtu anakuambia ati I want your number unampatia namba unampatia namba ya simu nda kumpea paka ID number for what Some things have them for yourself amen? amen There was something else from my Yes dear Yes go ahead Right. Good. How much is enough? Enough? How much is enough? Um, I know a lot of people are walking out of their marriage. And this, is, this has nothing to do with Adventism. But it's about what we are seeing around. We are shaped by what we see, by what we read, by the stories we hear. Are you getting me? Yeah. And so what we are asking is, is very true. We are, not, and we are not exceptions. The question she's, she's asking is a very practical question. For instance, I'm in a relationship because we, are, we have not gone to marriage. How much can I say this is enough I should come out? Because we here. And one of the things we tell them, because we don't encourage people to divorce, we don't encourage people to separate, but we encourage them to stay safe in their relationship. And staying safe means a lot. Because even when you separate, they can follow you up and kill you. Are you still safe? No. So staying safe means a lot. But us, as young people, as we conclude, the question is this. How much can you contain in a relationship? And I told you, if you have a boy who is slapping you now, he will beat you seriously in marriage. For anything they are doing in a relationship, they will perfect it when? In marriage. It's as simple as that. If someone is arrogant now, is full of anger, what will happen? The anger will not subside. To simame kwa maombe ya muisho. And so I, I want to ask that uh, we, we try to keep time. And as I, as I always say, you know, you are my neighbor church. And so we can still create more time. I still encourage the leadership. You can create more time. Come here for a Sunday. And we sit here and talk stuff. Yes. Yes. The whole day. Yes. That will be an amazing thing. Good. I will ask uh, one of us to pray for us, and that will be good. A volunteer. Amen. God bless you and thanks for coming.